dear students today we shall be talking about body form of fishes we all know that fishes are diverse creatures and hence they are different shapes and sizes today in this very lecture we shall be dealing with different forms body forms of fishes such as fusi form such as tiny form filly form globi form and many other forms of the fish bodies before starting i request to you all to like and subscribe my channel bio learning when we talk about the fish body we all know that fishes are the diverse creatures and they are of different shapes and sizes they are as small as that of the grain of the rice and they are as large as whale sharks fish have several body shapes their body is divided into three parts that is head trunk and tail that is head and this is the trunk and then this is the caudal region we call it as the tail though many times we don't see that very distinctions which are evident from the outside fishes are categorized in different body shapes though there are many shapes of the fishes but mostly many a times the six body forms are recognized but in this very lecture i have tried to collect the information from the different sources and we have tried to to categorize the body forms in 11 different categories but most of the common categories are fusiform or elongated eel like they may be flat we also many a times call it as a depressiform we have many a times short and deep and then we do have many a times the laterally compressed body that is compressiform but in this very lecture we shall be dealing with the 11 types of the body forms so first of all we shall be talking about the fusiform body shape of the fishes these very fish they have a contour of torpedo that is they are streamlined they are very streamlined they have a boat shaped body and from this very we can infer that they are they can efficiently reduce the friction and they they are among the fastest swimming fishes the contour generally seeps back from maximum girth that is if their maximum girth is here it generally sweeps back it generally sweeps back from their maximum girth in cross section at about 1/3 of the length from the anterior so from this very portion up to the 1/3 it begins to sweep back that is it takes the shape of a torpedo which is generally streamlined or we can say boat shaped and we have different examples of these very fishes we have wuhu we have wuhu we have barracudas we do have the tuna and many open ocean sharks such as blues macos and oceanic white tips and generally speaking fusi form shaped fishes are the fastest sw swimmers as i told you so we do we we can generally say that these are the efficient sw swimmers and this design combined with the strong muscles and big powerful tails they yield variety of excellent shapes for the speed they that is needed by the top and open water predators so in order to survive in the open waters this very shape is very much necessary to speed up swimming swimming ability next we shall be talking about the serpentine form we regard these as the eel like form and the body here we can see that the body here is snake like it is snake like it is cylindrical it is elongate it can be sub cylindrical and mostly the murray eels they have a serpent serpentine shape and they live in burrows and crevices and holes in the corals and rocks 
they feed on crustaceans mollusk and small fish so we do have the shape of the snake so the body which is the snake like we call it as the serpentine and mostly the murre eels come under this very form are the examples of this very form now we do have the another shape which is just like the serpentine form or eel like form we call it as a as the filly form so when we say filly form i mean to say thread like so they are highly they have the their body is thread like and highly attenuated profile so similar to anguli form that is similar to eels these are also these are also elongated ones however when we say that what is the difference between these very eel like forms or serpentine form that their body that is very very thin and sometimes thread shaped so the thread shaped body it is filiform so it is very thin as compared to that of, that of the eels so we call it as the filiform so under this very category we do have examples of the snipe eels so these are the snipe eels and we do have the pipe fishes uh, they come under the um, form of the body that very form of the body is called as the filly form then another we do have the another form which we call the teeny form and many times it is also regarded as the ribbon like form of the fish body so teeny form fish they are ribbon shaped so they are ribbon shaped laterally compressed now here another distinction is there that they are laterally compressed ones so this shape is useful for hiding in the crevices but does not make them particularly fast swimmers so they are not for not fast swimmers not fast swimmers so some tiny form fish such as oar fish we do have the oar fish we do have the gunnels we do have the cutlass fish cutlass fish so these are the examples of the tiny form fishes so tiny form fishes they are ribbon shaped and laterally compressed so we do have the little bit of confusion here so serpentine form they are usually eel like eel like having a cylindrical uh, body then we do have the filly form we call them as a thread like then we do have the tiny form they are ribbon like so this is the difference between these very three then we do have the another form of the body we call it as a compressed form we also call it as a compressive form fishes compressive form body shape so compressive compressive form fish they are compressed laterally that is from side to side so they look like this they look like this they are compressed laterally compressed they are laterally compressed that is side to side and they include many species such as angel fish we do have the angel fish we do have the reef fish we do have the moon fish then we do have the butter fish they are able to swim very quickly and they swim very quickly in short bursts and are often found living in and around the flora so mostly the coral reefs and other narrow places where they can hide from their predators as their body is very thin laterally compressed they can they can just hide in the crevices and they take uh, they swim fastly they are very quick they take short bursts then another form of the body of the fishes we call them as the depressed form or depressive form so this is the compressive form this is compressive form and then this is now depressive form so dorso ventrally flattened they are depressive form so the body is uh, dorso ventrally flat these fish they are compressed dorso ventrally that is from the top to bottom in the case of compressive form they are compressed sideways and these very fishes that is uh, compressive form fishes they live mostly near the bottom of the environment of their environment so they are often predators or scavengers and they feed mainly on the benthic organisms so to propel themselves they move their fins up and down just like that of the bird and uh, 
the um, examples of these kinds of fishes we do have the skates we do have the rays we do have the toad fish goose fish angel sharks cat fishes their body is uh, somewhat you can say um, depressiform or dorsoventrally flattened then we do have another another form we call them as the sagitti form we also call this form as the elongated form many a times this very form is also called as the elongated form so these fish are arrow shaped they look somewhat similar to fusiform they are similar to fusiform but they are much elongated than that of the fusiform so we call them as the sagitti form so often sagitti form fishes they are lie and wait predators that is they usually stay calm and wait for their prey so they are such a kind of predators which lie and wait and they are only able to swim quickly in short bursts so they are able to swim quickly in short bursts and such examples of these very fishes they are the gar they are the pickerel they are the pike barracuda sand eel so we do have the example of the gars here gar and this is the example of the pike and then we do have the example of the sand eel then another important form that is the globy form that is just like that of the globe just like that of the balloon so we call them as the globy form so the fish have a globe like body profile they are round in cross section their their shape consist of the round globe just like that of the round globe they are they have the short fins and large round eyes so despite not being the fastest fish some globy form fish they have a specialized adaptation that allows them to take in water and increase their body size up to four times so they are not the fast um, swimmers but they escape from their predators by by increasing their body size up to four times just like that of the balloon they increase their size they puff up that is why we call them as the puffer fishes and mostly the tetrodonts they are the example of these very fishes that is they increase their body size they puff up their body they become balloon shaped so that the predator is unable to eat them so globy form fishes they are round they are slow swimmers and this their species they have the modified their fins for walking many a times in the environment they live in then another very interesting form of the fishes we do have the truncate body forms you can see here we also call them as the box form box fishes box fishes that is their body is just like that of a trunk just like that of a trunk a square one so the fishes they have the square or truncate body they are very slow swimmers they rely on camouflage camouflage and other special adaptations to capture prey and they avoid predators so with the help of the as they are not the good swimmers so they avoid being predated upon by the other fishes by their capability of the camouflage and and they usually have the uneven body you can say shape so except for their eyes they have the low set mouth and the fins and tail so except that of the eyes the which are on the upper side and all other you can say um, that is the mouth that is on the lower side the tails they are on the that is on the lower side and they have a rigid carapace their carapace is rigid so this covering consists of the fused plates and in cross section depending upon the species of the fish it takes the space, uh, space uh, shape of a round triangle square or many times pentagon so ostracions so ostracion fishes that is box fishes are trunk fishes they come under this very category then this is not a body form but we can say that the fishes may be 
uh, mostly they are symmetrical so most of the fishes they are bilaterally symmetrical that is what does it mean we can divide them into equal proportions in left and right so left and right are the mirror images of one another so most of the fishes they come under this very category but many times what we see in the case of asymmetrical body form such as flounders such as uh, many many um, flat fishes their eyes they are the mouth that that comes on the uh, one side and thereby just reducing their bilateral symmetry or just destroying their bilateral symmetry so some of the fishes they are little bit asymmetrical so some of the flounders that is the flat fishes they are having the having uh, the asymmetrical body bilaterally asymmetrical body though they are bilateral but their body is bilaterally asymmetric so let us have a quick revision what we discussed um, this time in this very lecture that the fusiform that is torpedo shaped body the compressive form that is sideways compressed depressive form that is dorsoventrally compressed anguli form that is serpentine form or eel like form then we do have the filly form that is thread like form then we do have the teeny form that is ribbon like form then we do have the sagitty form that is elongated one then we do have the globy form that is round one globe shaped or balloon shaped so these are the shapes which are mostly uh, found in the, most of the fishes they uh, find their place in these very body shapes now there are exceptions always there are exceptions we do have the uh, fishes which are of uh, we do have the diverse kinds of fishes which are of different shapes and sizes ranging from the smallest fish such as pedo cypress to the largest fish that is the um, that is the whale shark so among these uh, so apart from these eight we have also discussed the truncate one so rest two that is uh, symmetrical and asymmetrical bilaterally symmetrical and bilaterally asymmetrical fishes so that is all for today uh, i hope you enjoyed the lecture so um, it is my request to you all to like and subscribe my channel and next time we shall be dealing with the uh, feed formulation we shall be dealing with that how feed is formulated how protein content is managed how we can prepare the feed which is having the different amount of the protein and we shall also be discussing then thereafter we shall be discussing the nervous system of the fish so that is all for today um, have a good day thank you very much thank you for listening